Students across the world have been hit hard by coronavirus restrictions, ending face-to-face -face learning for an estimated 9 out of 10 students. In Victoria, universities have continued to deliver classes online, with no information provided on whether or not classes on campus will resume from next semester. The Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews announced last week that for school students, face-to-face -face learning will be resuming from June 9, in an effort to ease pressure of parents and students. Andrews is also confident that students will still receive an ATAR which has made students stress out about their potential grades. With university students also worrying about their slipping marks, we now go to our I'm a Millennial Get Me Out of Here correspondent who is investigating the impact of coronavirus on uni grades across Victoria. Thanks, Evelyn, and welcome back to I'm a Millennial, Get Me Out of Here. Now, I may be my house, but I'm definitely not at home. And with the tricky coronavirus conditions continuing, many university students have had to face the reality that classes are no longer taking place in auditoriums, but instead, their very own bedrooms. Don't get me wrong, learning is always welcome here, but it's been hard. Victorian universities have taken different approaches to their own scaling and grading process, which has made it all the more confusing. So while I'm here trying to get a passing grade on my latest assignment, I can't help but wonder, what kind of grades can these universities expect to receive based on their current approaches? RMIT has taken a fair approach, with fair grades not being included on academic records, and Swinburne has done the same, introducing special consideration for all students. I give them 4 out of 5 keep cup coffees. And other universities have followed suit, with some variation on the rules. Monash University has allowed students not to have a unit come up on their academic record if they want, but other units that taken at that same semester must also not be included. Three out of five avocado toasts. Melbourne University, on the other hand, allows for units that go below a student's wham not to be counted on their academic record. It's a bold move. I give it four and a half Kathmandu jumpers. Deakin University, however, hasn't made any changes to its grading policies, particularly in relation to failed units and late withdrawals, which has made many students very frustrated. Hmm, I'm gonna have to give this a failing grade. Zero out of zero male diplomas to you, Deakin. Look, as a university student, things can look pretty bleak. But let's look at the younger generation for hope. How are high school students going with the VCE studies? The trials and tribulations of being a student in the 21st century. 